What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to This Level of Delusion is Amazing. So somebody linked me this one, it is from the pre-game clips, just pearly things. Uh, judging by the thumbnail, I think it has something to do with single mothers, so uh, let's get into it and break it down. I really don't mind living in a man's world. Because I don't mind, this, I'm this probably this microphone this was likely invented by a man. This and beautiful no architecture in London was built by a man. And so I'm looking at modernity looking at the unhappiness in women, the, how lost people are, and how just miserable and lifeless everyone is. And I'm like, I don't want anything to do with this. I, I, I want to find a husband, and I want to like fulfill my husband and, and have kids. And, I can and absolutely and understand why you're side. scared of this kind of stuff. Cause this is... Kind of thing. Now, I... I... Um, obviously we don't know the context leading up to this, so I wish they would have started the clip a little bit earlier, but I'm guessing, judging by the way she's dressed, um, you know, very, I mean, for like very traditional, I guess you could say, uh, and the fact that she's covering her face, um, you know, her compared to the other women on this show, I'm guessing she's a much more traditional woman, um, and by the things she's saying, and the other girls are kind of agreeing with her, but the thing is, I would like to see like the, the stats, right, uh, on these girls compared to each other, and hopefully they'll get into that. Thing bothers me as well about the fact that I am a bit Oh yeah, so, I mean, she's dressed pretty modestly. But she's also kind of dressed like, I don't know, not traditional, but definitely modest. These two are just not modest at all. all right, so it's like, this is one <clears throat> one of the things that drives me crazy about these kind of girls. Like the three that are on the couch here. Specifically the two that are on this side. Is these people want traditional relationships, but they don't want to act traditional at all. It's like, you can't have your cake and eat it too, right? Like if you want if you want a traditional relationship, you have to act traditional. Right? This is much more appeasing to a guy that wants to be in a traditional relationship. This might pass, depending on the context. This will never pass. Right? Like, if you're trying to date, like, some, you know, like, hardcore, like, trad Catholic or, like, fucking, again, like, basically what she's describing here, y you're never going to get that dress like this. The, the guys are going to see you, and they'll probably be nice to you, right? Because they're generally nice to women. They, they view women, you know, the way that, you know, women are traditionally viewed. They're going to be nice to women because you're supposed to, right? That's how you're raised in traditional family. But they're not going to ever consider you, like, a serious long-term relationship. I mean, they won't even consider you for a sexual relationship. Because, again, like, if they're, like, an actual trad cat or something like that, they don't believe in premarital sex. A bit older. And it does. And you, you know, have a child as well. And I have a child. So, number one, I don't feel the pressure of being. Um, I'm 30. I don't feel the pressure of needing to find a husband because my time is ticking or whatever it is. I've already got my child. If I. So, she's a single mother. I, I, I kind of guessed that based on the uh, thumbnail that at least one of these girls was. Um, but, I mean, that just kind of puts her in like a worse light. Like, realistically, you should be trying to find a dad. I mean, it's definitely going to be hard. And you obviously want, like. Honestly, single mothers put themselves in a really tough situation because you have to focus on the child, right? Undeniably, right? That should be your number one goal. Once you have kids, uh, you should be focusing on the children. But they kind of screw themselves over because, you know, if, if you're a single mother, you need you if you want the best chance for your child, you're going to have to find a dad. But any time you spend trying to find a dad is time you're not spent with the child, right? Especially if you don't have a strong family structure to help, you know, take care of the kid, right? Like, you can't drop them off at the grandparents or whatever to, you know, go out on a date or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, these women put themselves in really bad situations. If I find my forever man, and I would love to have a family with him, but right. I feel like I'm in a slightly different category. Um, I'm not alone, obviously. Lots of people are like that. Are you but, single? Yeah, yeah, I'm single. Okay. Um, so, but I, I get why... Yeah, so, I mean... <laughs> She's kind of screwed herself, right? And I don't think she realizes how screwed she is. And she might make enough money that she's not too screwed. But the problem is, you know, regardless of wealth, you see, you see this even in celebrities that are single mothers, right? There's lots of famous, really wealthy single mothers worth tens, t fucking tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in some cases. And they're still, like, statistically, they're still not going to be a, a better, you know, you, you have more chance of success being a fucking born to a... Uh, dual parent household that's po like poverty stricken than you do being born to <clears throat> a single mother who's a millionaire. Right? Just look at all the fucking burnout children and the fucking drug addict children from single mothers in Hollywood. Right? So many of those people are worth like millions and millions of fucking dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars in some cases. And their kids still end up fucked up because of the, the fucked up family dynamic. Right? 
no. for being lonely. And no. I understand how it's not that for you. I'm not putting words in your mouth that you were saying about um, the modern woman and the things that you see now and how it's a man's world and everything. I understand how that could be quite scary and you don't want that. You want you want to be happy. I just want to be happy. That's all I want to be. Like whether or but not you know I what end up you know what it is like. Like what she's saying is uh, uh, the opinion and thoughts of an actual submissive traditional woman. But the reason why most women are unhappy is because of the ideology that they've put in their heads. And because of that ideology, yeah. you're, shaping the, you're shaping your reality and the society in a different way. Like in her way, she seems like she's happy anyway. She's all calm. But like let's say, for example, for you, you're looking at uh, things differently. You're looking at, oh, if I'm a man's doing this, I feel like I have to do this. I feel like I have to do that. But for her, she feels like I have to do it because I'm a submissive woman, that, a traditional woman. So, you know. Th so the thing question? is about. The thing it's the same thing with, like, you see, it's the same thing as men, right? Um, there's guys who do what they need to be successful just because they feel like they need to be successful, right? They feel like it's their duty as a man. And then there's guys that feel like they need to be successful because that's how they get women. And. A lot of the time, you know, the problem with the guys that feel like they need to do that in order to get women, once they get the women, they stop trying, right? And they'll plateau at wherever they get a girl. So you'll see all kinds of guys like this where they, you know, probably the best example of this is in, like, the fitness bros. The guys who, like, they go through a tough breakup and then they get in the gym and they get crazy jacked. And then they get a new girlfriend and then they just stop working out. Um, like, like, you should be trying to get yourself in the best physical shape regardless just because you want to get in good shape and you want to stay healthy for yourself. Right. So you shouldn't be like, like obviously, it's always going to be unconsciously on your mind. Right. Like, that's just the reality of evolution. Right. Your, the, your evolutionary mechanisms are always going to be functioning. The unconscious part of your mind is always going to be functioning. But you're going to you, like you need to the way that your conscious mind should be working is that like this is just the beneficial for me, not for mating strategy. Right. Like a lot of the time you shouldn't be. Like, as, as soon as you try to get it into, like, a mating framework and, like, you know, I need to do this so that she likes me, and it, well, then as, as soon as she likes you, then you have a reason to stop, right? So, you need, you know, you need something beyond that. You know, it has to be for yourself. The thing is, um, your dynamic, you say you're 30 and you've got a child, right? Mm -hmm. So, that dynamic generally, because I, I speak to men a lot, and a lot of men say, they don't want to get into a relationship with a single mother. Yeah, that's fine. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like when I meet the right person, it's not going to matter. Right, okay, I hear that. I'm but not what I'm saying worried. is that... The no, 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 I, no. no. I, you I, should be... You hang on, wait, wait. I've, I've heard a lot of single mothers mm. speak as if they are the prize, right? Mm. So, and they would say, oh, just because I've got, like... I come as a package I'm deal. I'm not entitled. I'm like, I'm just. I'm not, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. Right? I'm not saying you. So they were like, I, I'm a package deal. You have to, you know, take me and my child. Mm. And I'm saying a lot of the time when women speak like that, they don't understand how men think because mm. generally men, if they're going to take on your child, they, they understand they're taking on someone else's child. It's not their child. Okay. Do you know what I mean? They're. They it's are a big get, man to do that as cause, well. Because I did it. I know because I did it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I did it for 10 years. I took on someone else's child. For I was a woman for 10 years, okay. right? So I took on a woman's child for 10 years. That wasn't mine. We had a child ourselves, mm -hmm. but I took on her child before I took on mine, right? And one of the things is that I understand as a man is that when a man takes on another man's child, that stepfather role is not ideal for any man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty obvious, right? Um, there's not really much to add there. You really screw yourselves over, right? Because, again, like single mothers, a lot of the time they screw themselves over. And I understand, like, a lot of the time it can't be helped, like, if you're a widow. Like, my grandma, when my my dad and my uncle, his older brother, uh, when my dad was nine months old, his older brother was, like, a year and a half, my biological grandfather died in a car accident who was married to my grandmother. Um, she ended up getting remarried, like, three or four years later, and then my dad's four younger siblings came from that marriage. But th I think there's a big difference between people who have been widowed and people who are just making bad life choices, right? And that's the one thing is, like, you always hear these women and they're like, oh, you don't understand the circumstances, you don't understand the circumstances, you don't understand the circumstances. It's like nine, pro more than nine times out of ten probably, it's, it's because of your bad decisions, right? Like, if you're widowed, um, you know, it's... That, that's unfortunate, right? Like, you, you can't blame the woman for that, right? She may have made a great choice, and, you know, it's just unfortunate that it didn't work out. The guy ended up dying. Um, he, and th there's other situations kind of similar to that. I mean, I can't really think of any, right? Because, like, even if it's, like, he became a drug addict, I, I, to some degree, you have to blame the woman for that. Like, 
it's both their fault, obviously. Like, the guy's a fucking retard for being a coming a drug addict, but also the woman for picking a guy that was heading down that path. Because a lot of the time, the signs are there, right? And th- that's the big factor with a lot of this stuff is, you know, you have to realize the signs are there. And, like, I feel like so many people are just, like, way too... F- like, so much of this is just, you know, the free sex movement and just having sex with, like, anything and everything and that it should be normalized. It's like you realize the risks that come with that. And then you have a lot of these women who, like, don't want to get abortions. And, I, I mean, I'm kind of for that because we need to get our birth rate up, so we probably shouldn't be having abortions. And uh, there's just so many issues that come come into one with this. And, like, yeah, you, you, set, yourself up because you set yourself up for failure because, like, let's say you do get into a situation with a single mother. Um, you know, I'm grateful for my, my grandfather. You know, he fucking decided to marry my grandmother despite the fact that she had two kids. Um, but, I mean, that, like, that puts you in a tough situation, right? Like, most guys are not going to do that, especially back then. Right? Like they grew up in the 60s in a rural conservative area. Or, or, I mean, I guess 70s was when uh, that happened. They grew up in the 60s. It was the 70s when fucking uh, my biological grandfather died. Um, so, like, when my, my grandfather, the guy I grew up calling grandpa, uh, and my grandma got together, like, we're talking about, like, the mid-70s. And, like, that, that was, n- it, it was, you know, it was more socially acceptable because she was a widow and not because, you know, like, she just made bad decisions. Um But, like, nowadays, it's just so normalized. And, like, most guys are not going to be willing to do that just because it's such a... Like, the guys that are willing to do that, a lot of the time, it's not guys that women should... Like, would want to be with or should want to be with, right? It's going to be bumps. It's going to be guys that have no other options, right? Because realistically, if you have... uh, You know, like, if you're a guy and you're coming into a relationship and you're making however much amount of money and now all of a sudden you have to support two kids out of the blue, right? Three kids out of the blue, however many kids she has... The more kids, the more problems, right? None of them are yours, right? It, the possibility that she doesn't want to have more kids, right? She's already got kids. So then, you know, now your lineage is dead and you're spending money on some other dude's lineage. Like, there's so many problems when it comes to it. It's, it's yeah. It, it, it's, ah, uh, they just screw themselves over so much. I'm saying so. I, I, I always say single. And the no, thing is, totally. sing, sing, single mothers don't like to hear it. But I tell single mothers you are very lucky to find a man that's going to take on you and your own. No, and, and I think that's child. fair enough, and I don't think people should get defensive at that. Yeah. I really don't. I think it's just you just own your situation. It is yeah. It is. I've never introduced um, my child to a man. I've never been mm. like, uh, when I'm trying to raise a man, I'm not trying to raise a boy. Oh, he's a boy? No, no, no. I'm saying like for my son when he's... I yeah, I'm saying, have you got a boy? Oh, yeah, 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 boy. Oh, okay, so yeah, for me, yeah. it's very important that he sees a very happy, healthy home. I don't want to be like, oh, this is mommy's new boyfriend. Right. He's never seen me with a with a man because. That honestly, props to her there because that's one of the worst things that people can do. I know this one girl. She's kind of like the local bicycle, and she's got three kids by two different baby daddies, and she's with a new guy like pretty much every two or three months, and they're fucking like in and out of her house fucking moving in moving out right she's the one with the apartment she dates all these fucking like bum type drug addict dudes and like her her three kids they fucking see a new guy every two months as like the new dad and 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 that's the thing that's what i mean like a lot of the guys that are willing to date those types of girls they're not the types of girls that you should, or they're not the type of guy you should ever have around kids like if you want the best chance for your kids it, it's <laughs> It, you know, it, as bad as it is being a single mother, a lot of the time it's probably better than the, than being around the guys that are willing to date single mothers, right? Like that, that's how fucking that's how much you screw yourselves over by doing that, right? Is that the the no no father option, as bad as it is, is better than the father option with a lot of the fuck ups that are willing to date those girls. The only time that he will is when I found a man that is I I know. That's my forever man. Right. Obviously, things go wrong, but you know, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you, you and that man needs to love my son more than he loves me. Why? Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, yeah, that's never gonna happen. Um. Yeah. I mean, he, he may like your son, right? He may, he may even find him, you know. Whoa, okay, wait, whoa. Oh, yeah, he may, he may like your son a lot, but like, really, he's not getting into the relationship for your son. I feel like she's just being hyperbolic there, but yeah. Say something. I want to say something on this. You see, the problem of love single mothers. Son more than loves the, you. the problem of single mothers is they expect a man to come and basically you do your thing with another guy. As in unconditional. The love. baby daddy is still in the in this in the in the scene, 
Are you expect another man to come and play another person's story mode? Because that's basically what he's doing. And come on, what love, bro? If I, if I'm if me and you <laughs> play another person's story mode, I've never heard it said like that. But that's funny. That's fucking funny. <laughs> play another guy's story mode. You're in a relationship. I'm in a relationship with you. Yeah, I, 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 no offense. That's. That's a different thing because let's keep it 100. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, when you introduce, by the time that I introduce him to my son, this could take five. If, no, no, so, but so, the, if the guy wants I mean, to be introduced to the son, yeah. that's calm. So, but should you say it could take five, ten years? Five or ten. So, how old is your son now? She said she's 30, so like, she's gonna be 40 by the time she introduces the guy she's dating now to her son. Like, he, how is he even gonna like, gonna form a relationship with him? Like that. That's the other thing. It's like. Depending on how like old the kids are, it becomes like a lot harder, right? Because like if you you know if you see a kid grow up from like when they're fucking little and you've been raising them the whole time, you're probably gonna have a lot more attachment than if you just you know showed up when the kids like fucking seventeen. Like Jesus. I mean, she was honestly sounding like one of the smarter single mothers I'd heard until she started talking like now. The first like four minutes of this video, I was like, wow, this girl's actually pretty. You know, pretty intelligent for a single mother. Usually they're borderline retarded. But no, she uh, she took a 180 there about four minutes in. Let me let me try yeah, and no, get, force let it. me That's try I mean, and give you let me try and give it. you this as a man who's actually done it mm. and done it for like a decade, right? Mm. I'm not doing it anymore, but I've done it for a decade. When you say things like he ne he needs to love my child more than he loves you, mm. let me just tell you mm. that's not going to happen. What, okay, what, not even at the point of let, let me just tell you, my son, men my do kid. not love children that are not theirs biologically mm -hmm. more than the woman that they're in love with. It mm -hmm. doesn't happen. What about, okay? So okay. I'm, 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 I'm just what trying to give you some game. If you, if you take it, you take it. If you, you don't, you don't. You say non-biologically though. What about what, like, what that goes to everything with so, like adopting children so and everything. What like. happens in nature when, when there's a cubs and, and even historically when they would take over the, when they would take over a tribe. Kill all the babies and then the women go back into fucking esterus and then they're ready to breed again. Like, <laughs> nature's a motherfucker, man. They would take the women and kill the children. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and so men Lions are, do it. Men are programmed to be disgusted by other men's kids. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't undo I that. I fully understand it with that, but obviously... That I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm, the thing is, the reason why I'm saying this is mm. because you seem like a nice woman, good woman, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I, I don't know you, your life, mm -hmm. but I'm saying if you are looking for a man, that mentality, mm. saying he needs to love my child more than he loves me, it's a bit peak. Take take that out of yeah, because I seriously, get away take that out of your mind. Understand. Okay, so maybe not as clear cut as that, but you understand the way that I'm going. We no, but one thing you need no, to understand no, is no, because okay, a man is gonna love you. He's gonna love you, he's but you're trying to say that love if love you want to love me, you need to love the whole package, and you know no, that's. I think what she's trying, trying to say is through your love for me, you will have love for my child. No, but having love for somebody doesn't mean like you love them more than. So, for example, for the time being that you're with. That's literally what she said, though. She literally said, "Love them more than me." Oh my God, these girls are trying to backtrack now that they realized how stupid it sounds me and our relationship is going i actually if for us to work because he's not only the man that makes the choice for us do to you work, have children i don't but i understand what, what is she wearing on her hand is that cast she's okay. saying because i come from a home home where there's a lot of like different uh there's uh, some of my aunts have got children with different men so it's, it's come we i come from a bit of a traumatized sort of background civil war so, so, so right up she admits it's trauma and then she's trying to perpetuate this further Right. Yeah, so I come from the traumatized background. It was fucking horrible. Also, we should keep doing this. Right? Like, what? why? Why do they, like, every fucking time? Jesus Christ. Point so on. So these things happen, right? And it's more like, through your love for me, mm. yeah, because you love me, you will have love for my child. Meaning that, whilst mm. you're in the picture, you can fulfill the image, the, the role of being a male figure, but you'll never be the dad. Mm -hmm. And that is yeah. why Maybe you can never love the also, child more than you love me. Also, I've had the um, experience as well as my mom's uh, child. I was, I'm the only, I'm the oldest. Mm. Um, I'm the only child from my mom and dad, and then my mom got married to someone else. Right. Anyway, he was very abusive to me and my mom. He wasn't, right. and um, I don't think that Obviously, it wasn't okay at all, but my mom was just taking everything that, you know, he was doing because she was pregnant at that time as well. Let's shop with amazing deals. So, yeah, honestly, that guy sounds like a dirtbag, but the problem is that's unfortunately normal, right? Like, 
if, if you look at like the you know like parental abuse statistics one of the biggest factors is whether they were a step parent or not men or women right women abuse their stepchildren a lot too um it's, it's one of the biggest contributing factors to whether a child was abused or not or was whether it was a parent, whether it was an adopted parent, whether it was a foster parent. And now there's lots of good foster parents. There's lots of good adopted parents. There's lots of good step parents. But statistically speaking, that's they're the ones far more likely to abuse the kids. And um, yeah, like I know where you're coming from when it comes to um, what is it called? What did you say again? Love about loving your child. Yeah, like I, I, I've never experienced that. I've never experienced that from my mom's ex-husband. He was just very abusive to me and my mom. What about your father? What about my your father, father is, he's lovely. He's never okay. done anything. He's never beaten okay. me up. He's never done anything. Wait, wait. Like Have you guys watched this video of this guy that uh, gives uh, his, um, his son, McDonald's. his son McDonald's, yeah. yeah but but then, the other kids. yeah, that's 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 how it is. You're basically trying to say, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen that video, and as funny as it is, that's kind of a dick move. <laughs> like, it, I mean, if you strap for cash, I kind of understand, but at the same time, like, <laughs> it's like, like even if like it's your kids' friends, you just bring them food, right? Let alone their siblings. I feel like, it, as funny as that video was, that was kind of a dick move on that guy's part. But yeah, I've seen that video. Like brings his son fucking McDonald's. He, his baby mama's got like th four or five different kids by like three or four different guys. He brings McDonald's only for his, and then the baby mama gets all pissed off. Fucking hilarious video, but honestly, a dick move on that guy's part. <laughs> Let's say, for example, like you have other kids and he doesn't have... You're basically saying he should provide for your other kids, even though you may be in a payroll with your baby daddies or whatever, he should provide and show equal love for... Let's say you have a kid, he should show equal love for your son than his son. Can I tell you something? So could, let's... Could, I, I, could go actually, back, so I want to yeah. go back to your situation. Hold on. One, one second, one second. Yeah. I want to go back to your situation. So your child, does they, do they have their father in their life? No, he doesn't. He and that, that's a problem. And, that, and that's and probably the, one of the reasons why you said that. And the reason, yeah, the re so the situation, obviously I don't want to talk too much because this is their Yeah, yeah I get you, I get you, yeah, yeah. But um, there's no bad anything between right. our situation. But because your son doesn't have his actual father. So there's nothing bad between them, but somehow the father is still not allowed to see the son? Uh, does he just not want to? I mean, this story seems kind of, kind of a deadbeat, right? Like, if I, if I had a kid out there, I'd, like, even if I wasn't with a mother, I'd still want to see the kid. Father in his yeah. life. When you said, oh, he needs to love my child more mm -hmm. than he loves me, I'm just saying, for me, the ideal, and every child, every child wants to know who their biological parent course, is. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? And they want a relationship with their biological parent. Do you not expect... I think that's true for most people, but I, one of my best buddies growing up... Uh, his so he him and his brother were well, actually him and his brother and his sister his sister was like quite a bit older though um they were all adopted from guatemala uh and it's funny because they grew up on a farm with like these older white parents uh who they had their own kids they had like four or five of their own kids and then they were past the age where they could have any more kids so they decided to adopt some kids from guatemala which at the time was going through a civil war um so they adopted my buddy his older brother and his older sister from guatemala and I remember when, like, Ancestry DNA tests came out, we asked him, like, hey, are you going to get, a, like, a DNA test and see if you got, like, any relatives or anything you don't know about? And he d wanted nothing to do with it because as far as he was concerned, his mom and dad were his mom and dad. But, I mean, he was also, like, with them since he was a baby. He got the luxury of growing up in, like, a, you know, on, uh, like, being a farm kid in fucking Canada, you know, playing hockey, having a pond and a river to go play at every day, fucking around in hay bales. So, like, he grew up with, like, a pretty good life they never would have gotten in Guatemala, but... Um, yeah, he wants nothing to do with the ancestry DNA test or anything to try and find his uh, biological parents. But I think, you know, maybe eventually he'll want to. But, yeah, I don't think everyone wants to. I think most people undeniably want to. But, yeah, I don't think everyone wants to. Any man to come into your life who loves you, he could love the ground that you walk on, right? doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to love your child the same way. It's probably not going to happen. I'm just, I'm just letting you know but as a man. Can I go back to what I was saying? I appreciate your opinion. Yeah. Like, like you were saying, you know how I asked you before, but we didn't touch on it. Like, what about, like, adoption? You know what I mean? I don't want to talk about that in such. I'm just saying you mm -hmm. said biologically yeah. no man is ever. So what does that mean for children that grow in care and go to foster yeah, I mean, adoption? Like, is that is it that the same You're thing? a mother yourself. A, yeah. So you know what it... I mean, statistically speaking, they're more likely to be abused, right? Um, 
you know, step parents, foster care. Foster care is fucking brutal. Um, and again, I know good people that have, you know, f- that have been in foster care, good people that have been adopted. Like on, like my buddy, I was just talking about, you know, his parents, very loving parents, very good parents, treat them just like any of the other kids, uh, despite the fact they were adopted. I know people that have been fostered that, that have, you know, had great lives and shit too. I know people with step parents that have great lives, but statistically speaking, it's one of the biggest, uh, like things, uh, I don't know what you call it, biggest uh, correlations with abuse. Like, cor- again, correlation isn't causation, but there's a huge correlation between them. Felt like to hold that child in your womb, mm-hmm. right? For real. That, that's an experience that I, as a man, I could never actually understand but, because it never happened. Mm-hmm. But you know what that's like. And you, do you think you can love another child? As many of you know, I was just banned. I wish they didn't cut that off there because I would have loved to see her answer. But I think... I think a lot of it just depends, right, like on where you are in life um, and what your goals are in life, right? Um, I think some people can do it, but for the vast majority of people, no. And I think also the other thing is like men are territorial. So a lot of the time when it comes to kids that aren't their own, they're, they get like, you know, they're not as fond of them, right, for like territorial reasons, right, and like resource reasons. Especially, I think a big factor, again, comes to, you know, resource acquisition because if a man's able to acquire a lot of resources then it's not a big deal for him to waste a little bit on you know some little spawn that's not his own but if a man has a problem getting resources then it can be right um which again going back to the mcdonald's guy you know maybe he couldn't afford mcdonald's for all fucking 12 of his fucking baby mama's children but uh you know so again you know maybe it's not as although he did make a tiktok video about it which was pretty fucking funny and i think he was doing that to kind of like rub it in the baby mama's face but I thought that that video is honestly hilarious, but it was such a dick move. But let me know what you think. Uh, comment below. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit, and uh, helps me in the algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video.